I'm not sure if it's ever gonna be night again. It was daylight when I went to bed, daylight when I wake up, daylight all the time. Apparently, apparently the 24 hours of daylight oh, oh. is happening. I know, I'm not happy about it either. It's just weird. I kind of miss the stars. <laughs> it's like being in a city or something. Oh, oh, oh. I know, exactly. Also, another thing, um, van life has afforded me a lot more comfort on this trip than I was really anticipating, in that um, I'm getting all the way up in the Yukon, I'm up on these really remote roads, and, you know, it can be kind of scary a little bit, just worried about, like, you know, breakdowns and all that, but at the end of the day, like, I can, like, lay down on my couch and watch a movie and be totally at home, even way out here, so it's just kind of a weird feeling. Anyway, we're gonna head into town today and I'm gonna say goodbye to Calvin today. It's been a good run with him. We've had a lot of fun, but uh, he's gotta keep moving. And I'm gonna stick around in White, House for, uh, White Horse for a little bit, just getting some stuff done to the van before I head up the highway. All right, let's get today started. <laughs> Welcome to the town of Whitehorse. I haven't been this excited to see an actual town in a long time. This is kind of cool. This is the biggest er biggest town in uh, in the Yukon. It's also the capital. They have an actual Starbucks here, so I'll get to upload all the episodes I haven't been able to upload. Sorry about that. It's a real life city with public transit. Did you look at that? Jeez. Well, it's 10 a.m. We're having a beer at the 98. 20 to 11. 20 to 11. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> Welcome to Whitehorse. Hey, yeah, buddy. Oh, I'm gonna miss you. <laughs> I don't know about Calvin. I'm gonna miss you though. <laughs> Right. Nobody really misses me. We're saying goodbye Everybody to Calvin. This is brave. <laughs> yeah, no, it's just like Champ. He's way more of a celebrity than I am. Everyone loves him. Hell yeah. Uh, all right, take care. It's been a blast. Definitely shall. You do as well. Bye, brave. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, I'm going to miss you too. So Calvin's not uh, by any means the first hitchhiker I've picked up along my travels. I usually pick up people, but uh, I don't often get them on camera and it was cool. Calvin's just such a character, man. It was kind of nice riding with him for like three days. Three days basically we rode together and uh, he's got some stories. He's a real interesting guy. I wish him well. I hope he, uh, he's talking about buying this van. He says he's going to strike it big up there in the, in the Klondike and roll in with his bags of gold and buy up this van. Told him I'd take payment in gold, so we'll see. All right, guys, I'm gonna get some tires swapped. I'm gonna get some other provisioning done here in town, and uh, yeah, and then we're gonna meet up with some friends. Hello. Well, if I'm looking a little frazzled, it's because I met up with uh, Jeff from uh, Road It Up. I met with them a few times, and they're real busy. They got their whole community and a lot of stuff going on here with their kids. That's understandable. They are actually as close to Yukon natives as they are native to anywhere. So this is their home base. And upon their suggestion, I'm going to Big Bear Donair because I just went mountain biking with Jeff and whew, I could not keep up, man. I am hungry and beat and tired. So it's time to eat some delicious food.
I drove up the hill a little bit out of town and uh, hit up Fish Lake Road, which then turns into uh, part of the Trans-Canada Trail System, which is really rad because I've been kind of looking into this and I might make it into a trip. Like I might go from Vancouver to uh, Ottawa again um, using the Canadian Trail System. So if that's something you guys want to see, let me know. I won't be doing it in the van. I'll be looking to get probably an adventure motorcycle and, uh, and a method of carrying champ on the back, which is really something. I think it'll be a lot of fun and, uh, camping and traveling across Canada in that way. Let me, guys, let me know in the comments if, uh, if that's something you guys want to see. Uh, I think it's something I want to do. I really do. I mean, um, where I'm camped right now, it's kind of a huge open clearing. I think it used to be a quarry maybe, um, but it's uh, it's mainly this way because of the bugs and that's gonna be a problem, I think, on a Trans-Canada trip. The bugs are gonna be bad. Then up in the Yukon this time of year, there are quite a lot of mosquitoes, or as they call them up here, skitters. A lot of skitters. Anyway, I'm just exhausted and uh, I'm sorry I didn't get that mountain biking trek earlier today on uh, camera but it was all i could do just to keep up with uh uh jf there he's he's freaking fast and their whole family they're so athletic i can't i can't handle it man. <laughs> oh man i have got to work on my athleticism i've lost a lot of weight in the last year but uh in terms of like being physically fit i I'm still have quite a lot to uh to climb up quite a steep ladder there so yeah, take your victories where you can, and uh, I'll be getting an action camera soon. So, uh, yeah, there'll be a really cool setup with that coming up down the road. Um, probably something to do with that motorcycle trip. I just wanted to make sure I had enough funds to do this leg of the trip. So I just, I didn't buy or order anything yet. But, uh, yeah, it'll be coming up soon. Don't worry. And uh, other than that, guys, I'm just going to camp out tonight. I'm going to watch some movies, and I'm probably going to fall asleep early or late or whatever time it is. I mean, I don't know. It kind of looks like it might be like 7 o'clock, but I bet you it's like midnight. I have no idea. Time is... Time is weird up here. Plus, I don't get reception, so I don't carry my phone with me all that often, so I really have no way of checking the time. Most of the time, I just kind of do stuff and then realize it's 1 o'clock in the morning and it still looks like it's middle of the afternoon. Yeah. Yukon is crazy. Good night, everyone. See you tomorrow.